Hello student, we'll see one of the application of OPAM current to voltage converter. The current to voltage converter is also called as trans resistance amplifier. The input to this circuit is in the form of current and its output is proportional is voltage which is proportional to input current so in simple word we can see the output current output output voltage is equal to gain into input current we know the input impedance of op amp is high is very high so therefore the input incoming current so these two terminals are very low. Due to virtual ground concept, this V1 and this both the terminals are, are at virtual ground. Here I can say the input voltage is equal to Vi divided by R1. So your V in is equal to I in into R. So I can write down here. V in into I in into R. We know this is non inverting configuration, so the gain will be one plus RF upon R one into V in. So the output voltage is equal to one plus RF upon. R1 into V in, but the V in is equal to what? I in into R. So what I'll do? I'll substitute this V in instead of this V in, which is here. V out is equal to, we know, gain is equal to, gain I say A into V in. So instead of this V in, I can substitute I in. Okay, sure. I'll substitute this I in. So after simplification, what I'll assume? I'll assume this R are equal. So this R and R1 will get cancelled and you'll get RF into I in. A simple word we can say the output voltage is equal to gain into input current. So the sensitivity of current to voltage converter is the gain of this con converter is equal to minus RF or if it is inverting amplifier and if it is non-inverting amplifier it is rf the magnitude of gain is also called the sensitivity of current to voltage converter here we conclude that the output voltage is proportional to input current so the application of this I to V converter is in uh, photo detector or photodiode. We can connect the photodiode at the input side. This photodiode will sense the light intensity. We know the basic principle of photodiode. When the light is incident on a photodiode, the electrons will absorb this in light energy and the electrons will jump from from covalent bond to conduction bond and they establish current we know the flow of electrons is nothing but the current so this current we can convert by using current to voltage converter this is the one of the application of photodiode there is one application like you can use 
photovoltaic cell over here in photovoltaic cell also we can measure this light intensity in the form of current and that will convert it into voltage so this application we can use in the measurement instrument measurements thank you student